kill. He has enough One, meter. Three. Do it again. Yep. And down she goes. The minimum damage on that super is incredibly high. So no matter how much you prorate it, as long as you hit, you'll get a good 500, 600 damage. Which in Awakening is huge. Yeah. Alright, she comes out the gate swinging in this last round. Oh wait, no, this... Not sorry, this elimination round for uh, for this for this match. Blocks the Chieoki. Oh jeez. Kind of punch by day. My morning alarm just went off. <laughs> I should be waking up right about Time now. Time to wake up. Get ready to go to work. Oh, oh my god. What am I doing awake? I'm too old for this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Back to the game. Back to the game. That's why I'm here. Ooh, good Kaiser. Sorry, Caesar. Oh. Oh. Calls Kaiser. out her dragon punch. So he cost her some blue life, but he needs to be able to hit her like there that. There we go. D, five B. Oh, really awkward range to confirm that, but, but he gets another. But this should another. be a kill. Yep. There we go. That's the bro with a much more convincing showing. Looks like his uh, analysis paid off. Changed up his strategy and it paid off, definitely. <laughs> They're just jumping right back into it. No, no thinking time for Cobalt here. And sometimes thinking is the worst thing you can do. Sometimes you overthink. It's just true. don't think, just feel. All depends on what kind of player you are. Exactly. <laughs> he felt Dasa jumping at the beginning of the round, but he did not. Oh, calls out that frame trap 5A with just a DP. Gold burst. Dasa has meter to work with now. I wonder what he'll use it for, though. EX Sway. EX Sway backwards. Hook pressure gets punished by the, the, the straight up roll. That 5A hit confirm is pretty godlike. Yeah, it's 2.3 off of just 5A and the corner. But he gets caught trying to do a 2B the wrong way twice. And this is going to sting. Oh, incredible hit confirms. Oh! Oh, but no punish! So difficult to punish, as you mentioned. And this is an elimination round. Not an elimination round. This is a, a critical round for Dacid Bro. If he loses this round, he goes to losers. Dacid Bro will not be happy with that. No. Ooh, unblockable! Very nice. He starts the round by doing... Uh, so much damage in like 15 seconds that she's in Awakening though. That's always a good start. Yeah. However, it's a dangerous start too. Good block of the Meteors. That's one of the weaknesses of not being able to get any hits in before you go to Awakening. You only get one set of Meteors. Ooh, trying for some uh, gravity mix-ups. And thankfully everyone is too uh, tired here to start seeing the whole world in his hands. <laughs> oh, and he gets hit by the Meteors. Ooh, slow getup. Not not many people choose the slow getup option, but it can trick people up if they're not ready for it. Ooh, good Very nice. throw. And Dastard Bro stays alive. This is the cl uh, clinching round for both players. Interesting. Not sure what happened at the beginning there. Something clashed. That Ooh, a, punishes uh, the dragon kick. That was a Tomoe, I believe. I believe that. Into, uh, into dash launcher uh, air combo. Back into the corner pressure. Ooh, I think he called out that grab, but didn't tr want at. Bleh, didn't want the duck. Yeah. Counters there, gets the thumbs up. That's 25 meter for Akaiko. Oh, this is gonna be big. He's got super. Oh, interesting. Does Goes not the follow it up. Instead. Waits to bait out the DP, gets a couple of hits in, but doesn't get the full punish he hoped for. Yeah, he but just he just wanted the super for the finishing blow. Dasibro takes uh, takes him uh, takes out Kobold, Co Kobold, Cobalt, Cobalt, and moves on in winners. And I'm gonna step out because my voice is killing me and I'm tired. So Dasid, it's Chun it's Chun handling brackets. Tournament. He, was very <laughs> he, he stepped up his game then. He just, yeah. yeah, that first match he just uh, called you out a few times on some of your moves, but made you right made choice. a really good adjustment. That's right. All uh, right, we got Teddy Mears. Thankfully, it was, it was just good enough to win the round. Um, I'll, I'll have to, to try to do better than that next time. 
Uh, but very, very well done by Cobalt. So uh, Moogle Parade is White Suit Teddy. That's right. And Nabe is Blue Suit. This is a uh, NorCal Teddy Mare. Both of them have been playing Teddy since uh, pre-release. So let's we'll see how this goes. It should be crazy. There's going to be a lot of items everywhere. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's not going to make any sense at all. Try and remember who owns which TV set. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to steal anyone's TVs. Oh. I'm up for a match. Oh, I'm going right. to get off the mic. It looks like I'm up. Take care, Mike. Okay, so... The biggest things to watch for is going to be trying trying your absolute best to identify which item is which. I'll, I'll just sit here and fill this space for now. Okay, how are you doing, Calvin? Uh, I'm good. Um, um, yeah, I was just telling uh, the viewers that uh, they're, they're going to have to try to somehow differentiate the items in this crazy mirror. <laughs> Uh, and that's not going to be easy by any means. No, I, I, I still don't even know like what order. I know there's supposed to be an order, right? Uh, yes, there is a set order for the items. That is a, a very important note to the match. Okay. But uh, I, I believe the very first item of every match is random. So oh, there's that to consider as well. Okay. Um, I actually don't know like any of the well, I, any of the items for um, for Teddy does. And okay. I, um, well, it'll be very difficult to explain them on the fly, so uh, I'll skip that for now. But okay. they, they do a, a pretty wide range of things. Okay. A counter hit back, put uh, Moogle Prey in the corner. Great yep. confirmed by Manabe, full combo. Hua ends with knockdown item. Another combo, maybe a setup? Yep. There's... Yeah, he's definitely going to set it up with an item every time. Right. Counter hit back from uh, Moogle Prey this time. Nice anti air. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good one. Super. Who almost confirms a full combo from that. Close. Not quite close enough to the corner. Oh, no. Very dominant round by Manabe. All right. Well, I mean, he's still got a chance. I mean, his burst is coming back. Um, it's true. Oh, it's very even right now. Yeah. Very even. And it seems like they're about the same place in their item order, too. <laughs> this is just silly. I see a lot of the same items coming up. <laughs> Ooh, got hit by the poison curry, but immediately uh, removed the poison by hitting his opponent. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, it is on both sides. Oh, what the? Oh my goodness. This is silly. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Oh my god, they both <laughs> counter hit with the bat. <laughs> it's like a perfect mirror match. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Manabe stuck with a berserk in the corner. Slap him with that bat. Wow. That bat seems like really good. It's the got bat, bat is range. very useful, yes. Uh, it is also sweep cancelable. It can be dash cancelled, but it is negative dash cancelled. So okay. have to be really careful about that. Anti air combo. Google Parade controlling this match so far. Manabe trying to take it back. Uh, gets hit by the TVs. Ooh. The TVs are always tricky. Uh, it's very close last round. Uh, 150 meter for Manabe. Did you choose to use it? <laughs> and Google Parade combos that. The, they both pass by the dynamite. Nothing happens. All right, what's he on his last breath, but he does have 150 meter. He can still make, ooh. Oh, good choice. Catches him, break. Clutches catches him with an aerial, and that's the end of the round. I see. <sighs> Can't tell if I'm tired or just like. Oh, everyone is dead tired at this point. It okay. is about 7 a.m. Good morning to you on the stream. Morning. We're all probably a little bit more tired than the rest of you that is watching, unless you stayed up all night with us, in which case. Welcome to uh, the equivalent tiredness <laughs> we're all sharing. You, you feel right. just as dead as we are. We, we feel you. Yeah. We feel you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, hey, I think I have a match. Okay, take care, Calvin. You're playing Sonic You're playing Sonic Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty insane. Very difficult to accurately uh, talk about what's going on. Manabe has had vastly superior corner combos. It's a full launch into a fear at the end of it. Or that might be a poison, I actually don't know. Great anti-air. Manabe with a very dominant round again. Both players pressing Fear Puppet. It's a, uh, a poke that can inflict fear. Very strong poke. EX version can inflict Berserk. 
I believe there's another version that can inflict poison. They're all very strong. Great tool, Teddy's. Uh, knocks down into the barrel. Manabe confirming everything. Gets counter hit by the bat, though. Lightning Bolt tries to set up a cross and can't quite do it. Everyone's flying out of TVs. <laughs> the Pelican food. Gets a counter hit. Oh, counter hit bat in the corner. Manabe has, uh, in the past, been very good at converting that into full combo. Just barely misses combo that time. Base the burst from Moogle Prey. Great choice by Manabe. Moogle Prey cannot get his feet on the ground this round. Manabe just absolutely dominating the flow of the match. Great cross back, and Manabe takes the second match dominantly. Seems like he's established some kind of order to this crazy mirror. Arcade's still uh, quite packed, even at this very early time in the morning. Sorry about that. I was asked a question. How are you doing, Shui? I'm doing all right, Dasset. So uh, this is one to one right now. Okay. Uh, Manabe controlled the second match dominantly. Mugo yes. Parade won the first one. Uh, it was kind of close. Okay. So the momentum is definitely Manabe's favor, and it seems like he's carried it into this round as well. Awesome. Yeah, I remember seeing about six hours ago this exact same match. Mugo it's Parade insane. and Manabe. It was one of the first matches on stream, as some of you crazy kids out there may remember <laughs> that have been sticking with us all this whole time. All seven hours ago. Yeah, all seven hours ago. Now we're definitely and, starting uh, to feel it. Oh, wow. Manabe he took it. Everywhere. <laughs> now, before Moogle Parade was on a bit of a streak, and then Manabe came on and took him off. And it looks like right now he's going wow. to take him out. It looked like he faked the cross up there with uh, the drill claw that would normal, normally pass through the enemy. Uh, he just did not pass through because of the distance. Interesting. Great choice by Manabe. Gets out of that, presses a button, and it seems like he's going to close out the third round in a row. No, a little bit of a confirm there. A bit of difference. Uh, distance, no <laughs> problem, but picked it up anyway. Right. And here we are with daylight now. <laughs> and you're going right Special back into feature, it. Special feature, you can now see us. All right, so Manabe up one right now on this match could point. Be match point. Yes. yes. Uh, the Ooh. biggest thing that he's been doing right is he's been um, successfully jumping in on Moogle Parade much more frequently than Moogle Parade has been able to jump on him. Largely because he's also been using the anti air really well. Mm, okay, uh, so he's been so controlling he's... both of those facets of the gameplay. Yes, oh, and getting in with the teleport right there very sneakily with the top two. Counter hit bat. He's also been confirming his combos really well in the corner. Doing the full loop. Oh, just barely dropped at the end. Oh, getting hit by that fish there. Now, is that fish overhead? I don't think so. I think it's just block string. Just a block string. Got it. Using burst there. Oh, nice teleport by Manabe. Confirms a combo. Comes all the way in from full screen off that teleport. Very useful, too, that Teddy has. Wow, Manabe baits the Dragon Punch, and that's it. Manabe takes four straight rounds after losing the Moogle Parade in the first round. Ooh, comes out of the geez. costume a chick and wins it. Sometimes that happens, folks. Sometimes, Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. That's uh, getting a stick back, and we'll see what we got going rest. next. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. I am, I am amazed to see people still going at it seven hours later. <laughs> right now, folks, uh, winners of the charity raffle will be announced at the end of the 24-hour event. And uh, both offline and online winners will require email ID and uh, some other stipulations there. But you can see some of the fabulous prizes that we have. We actually have a copy of the game, some Broken Tear shirts. Uh, many, many copies of the game. Many actually. copies of the game. Yes, yes. It's not just that single one. Uh, fight sticks, Triton headsets, little miniature figures. We got six copies of Persona 4 Arena, uh, two Persona 4 figures, uh, four PS3 Fight Stick Pro, six Broken Tier shirts, four Triton AX Pro Headset Gamings, and four Fight Stick Carrier Bags. And if you're looking to purchase raffle tickets, it's going to be $1 for one ticket. Yes. $10 will get you three extra yes. tickets at 13 tickets, and $20 will get you 10 extra tickets at yes, 30 sir. tickets. I saw, I saw some people carrying around those 30 tickets. They got that deal. Yep. It's a really good deal. Uh, thanks again to our sponsors, Atlas. Really, really couldn't have done it without all of your support on Twitter and everything like that. Yes. Thank you very much. You made a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. uh, Mad Cats, thanks for the sticks. Really a big help, Mark, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, Broken Tear for the shirts. Thanks very much, Coogie. 
Yes. And of course, Game Center Arcade for hosting this lovely event. Where we are right <laughs> opening now, opening their doors at midnight before midnight for us. Before midnight, yeah, they let they us stay inside even yeah. before midnight. They didn't. They didn't keep us out in the cold. That's really cool. Bless their hearts. So I'm not 100% sure what the next match is. Oh, and, and also, thank you, Wednesday Night Fights. Uh, there's going to be um, Wednesday Night Fights in Southern California, of course. Yes. And Level Up has also been adding Persona to some of its tournaments. Very so be sure stuff. to check out uh, Wednesday Night Fights and Level Up. See that SoCal skill. I'm excited to see a lot of the players. And again, I know I mentioned it before, but it excites me the wide variety of uh, players that are getting into this game. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of anime players, obviously, but also you got Street Fighter, Marvel, all kinds of players from a different backgrounds coming into this game. It's really cool. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing to see. Oh, man. And we are uh, Still lining up. I'm not 100% sure what match is coming up on the stream. Line it up. So have you played any of your tournament matches yet, Dad? Yes, I have. Uh, I have played against um, N4US as my first match. That okay. was a very clean victory. Uh, I also played against Cobalt on stream. That Cobalt. just happened recently. Mm. And that was a very, very close match. Down to the wow. wire. Nearly beat me. Uh, he took Goodness. the first match. Uh, clutched it out. It was like this much help from mm. both players. He took the first one. It's always painful. Yes. Um, I managed to win the second match. And then uh, the third match was down to the wire again. It was oh, the last man. match. And uh, I was able to clutch it. Congratulations. Thanks. Still sitting pretty in winners. It, it was really impressive play by Cobalt, though. I've never seen him play that well. And uh, what character was he playing? He's playing Chie. Chie. Uh, and he's been coming to Game Center uh, during all the pre-release events oh that we've been boy. having. Um, and he just had not ever played that well until wow. now. Wow. Uh, yeah. So it seems like he actually plays better in tournament. Well, that's that's a great, which is a great attribute yeah, to have as, a, as an a, amazing a tournament player. Have, yes. Looks like we're going to have uh, I don't know if you're just standing there doing the official thing. Or I think Chun's trying to figure things out. <laughs> Maybe playing. Looks pretty exhausted yeah, like everyone else. Fun. Yes. Full on zombie <laughs> mode all around. It took around. probably a good 10 second pause in front of the stream station. Just didn't Figuring really out. seem to have anything <laughs> in mind. Nope, no. Uh, but he's going to be getting our next matchup relatively soon. Mm. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're capable of running this for a minute, I'm actually uh, really desiring to uh, cheer on my friend Bobby Siege in his oh, upcoming go, match. Go get it, so man. I'm, I'm go gonna get go it. for that. Go and, for that. Uh, take care here. Yes, uh, for all the uh, FKO regulars, I would like to say that there will be no Nuzlocke today. Continuing tomorrow, we are doing this fabulous event. Why would you want any interruption to this thing? It's 24 hours. It's ridiculous. Uh, this is this is my first day. There are many people who are here for the first day, and uh, everybody's loving it. It's great. A lot of new faces, a lot of familiar faces. It's just wonderful. Yeah, man, hop on. Might as well. So, uh, any word? On I would, so have to imagine, I would have to imagine that Aegis is like top level play. I have to imagine Aegis is a good matchup against Akiho here. Like, yes, yes, we this, shall I mean, see obviously that for them, For them it's week one, so yes, not, yes. not like Aegis level quality, but still. Um, I'm not sure what um, Akiho has against uh, bullet pressure into combo. Well, into I'm it. sure we will find out. So you can go by here. Definitely staying away, playing a bit of that zoning game. Akuhiko getting right in there. Ooh, gets the grab. Oh, oh. Oh, the next step goes for the high. Yeah, Steps are blocking. The oh, he gets right out. He gets confirmed. Oh, Gasset bursting to maintain that corner pressure, though. Very smart uses of that burst early on. And two gigabyte with the combo right into it, man. Did not even see him switching into oh, Orgame nice mode. Reset. Yeah, now the, the the really tricky thing about using Orgame mode is a lot of switching into it and out of it in the middle of the combo. Oh, I see. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, you know, the optimized thing is to get out of the mode mid-combo. So you're not burning up your meter and you're back to the sort of typical uh, range of motion order. Wow, we got a combo exhibition going on right now. Yeah, it's going in. And now some of those moves, uh, you see the flames coming out, that's only available in Orgy mode. Oh, I see. So those combos are specific to that flight mode. Do the flames have any special properties other than just looking cool? Uh, it's, a, it's a special move. It does damage, oh, right. as far as I know. That's it, bro. It's knocking out lightly. just going right in there. Keeps, oh, keeps sick grab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah holding that corner. Ooh, that was dirty. Dirty cross-up doesn't yeah, convert, doesn't though. Yeah, combo. He needs to finish that. Okay. Two gigabyte. Okay. Here he goes. Combo down. Definitely. That. that was off a jumper. Ooh, ends in the mix up, but Dasset getting out of it. Turn to that neutral game, getting a good punch in there. Good confirmed. Got two gigabyte on the ropes now. Yeah, Gigabyte's looking a little scary. He's looking like he's throwing like more bullets now. Just trying to keep him off. 
the broken. Ooh, wow, gets through the bullets with that one, man. He's tired of the bullets. Just went right through it. Yeah, like, that's I'm, enough. I'm not familiar with that. I don't know if he just uh, canceled it out or if that move had armor or something, but he got that, through him. Yeah, I think that move had armor or maybe projectile invincibility. Something. I guess gotta have something. You can't just sit back and throw bullets all night. Oh, yeah, man. Those quick oh. overheads in the war gear mode. Oh, yeah. Take, took out his burst, though. The grab and right now she's still in Orgear mode, so the meter is still falling. She's gonna have to get out quick. There we go, right at the end of that combo, he pops out of it. Misses to confirm off the 2B. Yeah, Game Boy seems really comfortable in the corner. It's a little unusual. It seems like that's where you don't want to be, but he's content to fight and like throw bullets and whatever. It's showing, showing uh, no fear of positioning on the screen right now. He's getting through. Good punish there. Gets into Orgear mode, cancels out. Wow, everything's just going so fast. Hard to keep up. You know, Sway is trying oh, to pick it up. Oh, caught him. Caught him. Good conversion. Oh, oh good punishing. Here we go. I don't know if he could have followed up there a little more. Wow. Wow, and catchers are doing a special oh, I thought move. that was going to kill her. Oh, that did Oh, uh, had her in paralysis, though. Real hard for her to move around. You could only uh, roll and short hop when you're right. in the paralysis state. Or if you have a special move or something that moves you around, you can use those too. Right, right. But yeah, right. you just can't walk or whatever. Yeah, that is gone. No normal jumping either. Well, that was an impressive performance for both players, in my opinion. Yeah, that was great. High level play here for, you know, official day one. Oh, yeah. These guys have been cheating, though. They've had it for a week. Oh, yeah, of course. So right now, goodness gracious, is that 1 that 0? Oh, 1 0 death, yes. Wow, great. Good pick up wow. the the pressure. Bit of a necessary burst there, I feel. That was a hard to do, too. Oh, man. Gets right in there with him, though. Over game mode mix-ups being too strong. Doesn't optimize that combo in favor of canceling yeah, out of over game mode. That's known to make these comebacks. It's like he doesn't care how much life he has. It's like, oh, yeah. He's playing a character who just looks like he doesn't care. Oh, oh man. The combo. He's, he's in the corner. Not where you want to be. He's getting those frame traps in. Trying to get him to flinch. Oh, got him. Ooh, caught him with the back dash. Great combo here. Good follow up. All kinds of damage. Ooh, so close. One more hit. Doesn't have to be an optimized combo. This actually but might right. kill Dash here. And Gigabyte going in. He has the yeah. Olympia mode meter and he's able to pick it up and take that round. Excellent play for both players right there. Very clutch from 2 Gigabyte. Starts off with a quick slide. Yeah, so sweet. Cancels it to Orgia. Trying to get that early pressure on mix up. But Dastard returning that pressure now. Wow. Dirty cross up right there. Another one. Going for it again, but Jigu by blocks that one. Good. Picks up, lets him tech. Still nice. in Orgy mode, getting that conversion. Like an instant dash overhead right there. Good. Non Orgy oh. combo there. He's going right in. He's not yeah. afraid, but then, yeah, you should be afraid of that. Oh. Gets the stun. Might kill, actually. Ooh, lots no. of damage there, that's for sure. But now he's in that kind of neutral game. Oh, there we go. Oh, but Whoa, she is nothing. paralyzed. Ooh, but pops out of it and gets a high. Ooh, catches it out of the origin mode. What is this? Good oh. block. Is that one not more. Safe? Is that safe? Uh, she one more cancels it to make oh, it safe. Okay. We're on the bar, and two gigabyte takes that one. So now it is one a piece. That's the, that's the section of the bracket has been really mm. tough. Though. Yeah, it's just him, Gigabyte, and Koopa, and Cobalt were all in the same wow. area. And Das is shaking his head a little bit after that one. Feels like he should have taken that, I think. He probably does, but he only needs to do it just a tiny bit better, and he's got the round. Both of them. That's so to, we'll uh, what happens. Okay. Oh, getting in there with the throw. Let's see what mix up he has. Wow. Gets the cross up, dashes in for the confirm. Excellent combo. Two, two gigabyte already at about 55%. Ooh, that looks unsafe. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to cancel that down B. Yeah, that down B. It's it's all right. Oh man, she's doing all kinds of damage. She's already oh, into right the uh, already past the 35% barrier. I think that's found a weakness in Gigabyte's game, that he's vulnerable to throws. Ooh, yeah, definitely exploiting that a little bit. But now he's in the corner. Oh, there you go. Ooh, pops out and whiff punishes that. Takes that round a little bit more convincing than the last that he did take. Yeah, Gigabyte's going to need to make a serious adjustment here if he wants to win the next round. That's it. On match point, just going in, carrying that momentum directly from the last round. Got him in the corner. Yeah, he's not letting him out at all. Not at all. Keeping the pressure going. 
Oh, good fate there. Fatal counter caught, but Suki Dwight using that burst to get out. There you go. Stayed in the corner though, but now he's getting his mix-up game going. Dacid bursting to keep two gigabyte into the corner. There she is. Yeah, it's just keeping the pressure on non-stop. There's nothing gigabyte with the, do. Ooh, with the frame chest to get caught by two B, and again he's been he's been catching. I think that's oh, with the grab. With the the, the two B catching with that uh, anti-air when she's going for cross-ups and converting a little bit of damage off it. I feel like maybe doing a little more. Ooh, but right now two gigabyte getting in there. It looks like a drop. Very low on Orgy of Meter. Oh, oh, is that going to be it? Oh. Folksum confirms it a little bit of damage. Oh. Right, right there. Jumps right up. He's excited. Oh, he's feeling pumped about that one. He feels that, that one. He feels good, good about it. Yeah, it seemed like Dignified uh, was doing a great job blocking cross-ups and having a, like, a good game until Dasher started throwing. Yeah, and that was, was just the, the straw that brought the camel's back. He couldn't handle all the mix-ups mm -hmm. after that. He was getting a lot of those little those little damage chips in right there. Towards the end, we see him converting just a little bit here and there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Gigabyte was stuck in the corner for a long time. Does oh, Aegis yeah. have any good reversals at all? No, you know, not that I know of. I haven't, I haven't dealt too deeply into her game. But, I mean, you know, all characters have that universal DP. Right. Didn't see him bring that out. Maybe out of fear of being baited, but Dazzle was going in pretty hard. All right, well, Dazzle's looking very strong. Probably the favorite to win the tournament. I, I feel like he is, especially after that performance. Yeah, I don't know who's coming out the other side of the bracket, though. That is true. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, I know uh, Pain, Talon, both people to look out for. Oh, definitely. Hope we get them on stream later. Performing very strong with a solid Teddy, Who's as we saw him using, up earlier. Like, I saw him using Shadow Labras the first time uh, I saw him play, but then he wasn't using, I didn't see her user at all today. Who's that? Orion? Oh, Orion. Um, Kiko, I think, with the with the knives. Oh, with the fans or? No, 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 with the uh, the kunai. Oh, uh, Yosuke. Yosuke, yeah. Maybe yeah. there was a Y in there. I am completely unfamiliar with like every character in this. All right, well we got Naoto few. and regular Labras. Sort of familiar with Naoto, love the traps, and uh, but not very familiar with regular Labras at all. Neither am I. I know she has a uh, the axe meter there, which uh, applies more hit stun depending on the level of it. Oh, I see. So it's level green right now? Yes, uh, that's, that's the neutral right in the middle. And then there's yellow and red above it. I believe blue and gray beneath it. Wow, she's just got a lot of meter for that combo. It's like 30 meter. Oh, yeah. She, she seems like she builds it pretty quick. All right. I, I, I learned this today. So for those who don't know, that little skull meter above near uh, Labras over there, that's actually Naoto's skull meter. Yes. And when that ticks down to zero, using traps and other moves, yes. um, all of her supers become instant kills. It if, is, they, if they hit, yeah. it is fairly ridiculous. And she can do the do one of them off a throw. Yeah, which is extremely scary. Well, right now, Lavis is looking scary for the damage. Ooh, good conversion and gets that kill, takes the round. All right, so Lavis is kind of a, one of the slower characters in the game. Has pretty good range and really good damage on our combo. As we have been seeing, and it seems also uh, good meter building. Oh, yes, definitely. She can, hit, she can land her combos and just hit a ton of meter. You really have to be uh, intelligent and dynamic with the combos though, with the different levels of her axes. Good throw break. Good damage there. So it was Sick. Well, so it was looking on point until he got hit by that. The axes yeah, are jumping not. back. They're useful there. Another good throw break, I still like Wow, the throw breaks, but again, he gets caught with the air throw. And a reversal there, a bit of an alpha counter, I do believe. No, that was, that's her uh, BD. That's oh, that was just her DP? Yeah. Alright then, excuse me. That was definitely a burst. And now Otsu getting in with the corner combos. Ooh, he catches it. Wow, Paul just popped around the corner oh. and slams it on his own. Catches it at an angle that she wasn't covering, and now. Ooh. Now, though, getting the last half of that super about. Now, Labras is silent. No, just gonna hang back while also that. Not gonna go in. And the trap gets her. I did not see that trap. And I guess neither did Apology Man. Oh, man, when I was doing that NOS power up match against Hanzo earlier, there was a can in front of the screen that was blocking the traps. <laughs> I, w I would just run into them. I had no idea they were there. Hanzo I didn't was that. dirty, man. It was awful. Yeah, he put that can there on purpose. And those traps from now to very useful. It's interesting that 
interesting. Although a lot of characters have moves that are clear. Yeah. Yeah, you can attack and the traps will go away. Like do an attack through the traps. Yes. I'm not sure about those ground traps though. Uh, yes, the ground traps can get cleared. Okay. Uh, Aggie's uh, 2B wipes them out, I do believe. Ooh, one more cancel to convert that. Oh, that was a good Ooh, wow, I guess that over it. Oh, it's just gonna hit? Damage. Oh, it didn't oh. push a button. But, oh, cancels. One more cancels to make oh, it in now. None. Yeah. Oh, and he's he super have, now. He doesn't have super, though. He's that meter. Close. And he's at the point where I feel like a combo would kill him anyway. Yeah. Ooh, Lapras had the meter to kill, but Solex wisely that bursting. Oh, this gonna be it. Yeah. And that conversion takes it. Now it's 1 0. Solex definitely has the most aggressive Nauta I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of gunfire coming from him. Oh, yeah, he just, needs, he just needs a little better defense. He's letting too many like air dash attacks hit into mm -hmm. big combos. I see, I see. But it's day one. Forgive me. Ooh, just gets oh, yeah. right in there with an air dash. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yes. Going for the frame traps. No, no bites though. Guys on the two hit combo right there. Grab, gets him into the corner, and now now she's gonna be applying that pressure. Ooh, text forward, and now she walks herself into the corner. Yeah, yeah, gets right out of the corner. Good pressure. Good pressure yeah, strong pressure frame traps. Good roll into gunfire there. Good conversion off of there for a little bit of extra damage. I like to use the guns behind the trap. Oh. Wow, pulls herself into the trap. Yeah. Interesting properties there. Gets the grab able. there. Ooh, and converts it into the kill. Yes, yeah, it's always been getting hit by basic stuff. Lavish doesn't have any moves that pull her forward except for the grappling hook. It's the only, it's the only move, I'm pretty sure it's the only move that moves her forward. So. Yeah, if Nardo can put up the wall, Lavis can't really do much about it. He's to like pull herself into the traps. Yes. However, on the other hand, I do love so much his offense with Nardo. It's really good. Oh yeah, and just right there we saw him use that anti-air converting some damage, pushing Solix or uh, pushing Apology Man into the corner. Now Apology Man Ooh. baits the counter brilliantly and Solex using that burst. Okay, he gets Fear right in there. Death. This could be trouble. I think one more combo and Solex is gone. He's gotta watch out. Ooh. Those frame traps with the bullets. Wow. Ooh, gets right in there and converts off the damage. Can't quite kill off of that. He's going to block it. Oh, oh, we pushed a button. Oh, converts off the wall bounce from that. Wow. Goes into gunshot and a polish oh, man yeah, shaking that his head. Kill. That was amazing. Cannot believe what just happened to him. Apology man wanting redemption for that right now. Going in with the throw and the pressure. Good mix up, but a good block. Very ambiguous and still blocking. Ooh, catches him with the low. Throw breaks are incredible from these two players right now. Frame traps, so it's not biting until about the fifth frame trap and taking heavy damage for it. Wow. And that's going to be a lot. And that yeah. is it. Apology Man takes it convincingly with that one. Smash him in that last one. Uh, if, you have really, if you have really, really good defense, Labra's going to have a really hard time getting in. But Apology Man was just persistent. Just constantly throwing out frame traps, which I haven't, I haven't really seen before. And it's very aggressive play from him. Yeah, he's landing like huge damage combos. I think I think he's playing Labra's the way she's supposed to be played. Seems like a definitely intelligent play with that character. Alright, was that winner's bracket? I have not the slightest clue. Oh, well, fair enough. Uh, do we, um... Turn in the stick. Let's see who we got coming up next. So who do you think has been the least popular character? Least popular character? On here, yeah. I do not even know. I have not, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know the names, I don't know all the cast. Um, that one, that one that I do not know. That is the least character, least popular character. So, yeah, actually Yosuke, I haven't seen him very much. Yosuke? The one we're talking about, Orion was playing? The yeah. The guy with the two little daggers, I guess? I ran, I ran a bracket with him in it, so I saw plenty of him. Oh, I see. Right now we have Koopa and Farrakhan, I do believe. 
Okay, and I saw Koopa lose earlier, so this must be Lucy's practice. And Koopa playing Labrys? Or Shadow Labrys. Shadow Labrys. That's what he plays. Scary looking character. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, just I frightening to behold. I Scary, played, man. Have you played Persona 4? What's the deal with Shadow Labrys? I have no idea. I have not played any of the Persona games. Labrys. You call it Labrys? Yeah. yeah. Like Shadow Labrys? Uh, may want to play that up close game. I have no idea. I'm not familiar with the play at all. We're about to see it here. Let's see. Okay, so Shadow Labrys, for those who don't know, is very unique in that her persona, or I like to call him Stan, which is a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, her persona is always out. Like you see her, like the whole name flop like that? Yes. That's the persona blocking. Because if you don't block the persona, they're just going to hit it four times and the guard broke, or persona broke. Right. But at the same time, it's kind of like Eddie or Carl or um, one of those two on one characters from the other game. In which you can do an attack with uh, the Persona and attack with Labrys at the same time. Or, like you saw there, roll to the other side for cross ups. Um, all kinds of things. Some of uh, the Persona's attacks have super armor, and a lot of them cover a lot of space. So, it looks like that is a very large Persona. Yeah. Koopa's doing a very good job keeping the pressure oh, on Chain, like unable to get in. But oh, there it oh, goes. Bad Kong getting that in though, misses that conversion though. Great box from Koopa, but gets caught by the universal overhead there. Good follow up wow. from Paticon. Yeah, Koopa's in big trouble. This persona's only one hit away from being broken, and he's way down on life. Yeah. Ooh, nice use of the meteor to just Ooh, get in there. Another overhead takes that one from Paticon. Okay, I learned this from Koopa earlier. Yes. Uh, cannot break the persona unless you hit it with an attack that does 410 damage or more. Interesting. So, no jabs, basically. Right. Yeah, so I was admit to I was just trying to jab it away and just try to hit it four times, but I, mean, I hit it four times, but it didn't break any cards. So it's, like, oh, interesting, interesting. it's not that easy. Yeah. So, okay. Luke is starting out this round, much like the first one. Which yeah, very blocked. heavy pressure, and Patacon yeah. very low on life this time. But we saw it last round, Patacon just one opening, and it could just carry the momentum to the whole round, and here it is. That's, ooh, that may have been the opening, but nope. Koopa falls out, blocks, and gets the kill. Koopa, very strong. Even though he lost that first round, he, I feel he played extremely strong against Faticon. Faticon didn't seem to have too many answers for what Koopa was doing, but he just got that one opportunity. Do you know who he lost to? Koopa lost to? Uh, I do not. Nice overhead. Yeah. Here we go. First, throws him back into the corner. Frame traps. Faticon bursting. I wonder if that, uh, that persona, what's the, what's the name of that persona in the background? Do you know that? It really helped me out so I could, like, call out what the persona's doing. Yeah. Having, having the persona persistently on screen is very different from any other character in this game. Chie. Oh, with the overheads. Those overheads are so tricky. Yeah. He's trying to get in right now because uh, Koopa's persona is broken. She's not there. So just Shadow Labyrinth by herself. Oh, oh but back. just like that, the persona's back. And he looks angry. Yeah, he's slamming the ground. What do we got going on here? Oh, goodness. Very dramatic super getting blocked by Chie. And again, getting it in with those high low mix ups off that uh, special move. Ooh, frame trap, I think. I think Fatikon got caught pushing buttons. Yeah, Koopa did something, and then he did the BD. Um, yes. I guess you call it a dragon punch or whatever, but yes. it's really just an invincible swing. And yeah, can't hit, can't hit him out of it. One of my favorite tactics with Shadow Labyrinth when I tried her for like one game is you do a move with Shadow Labyrinth, like yes. a laser or multi-hit mm -hmm. move, and yes. then with Labyrinth you do the BD. So it's an invincible swing. Mm -hmm. And so they can't hit you out of that, and if they block it, um, they get hit by whatever the Persona's doing. Interesting. Yeah, solid pressure coming from uh, both the point character and the Persona. Yeah. I, see also, I also know that Persona does have a command grab, so you can't block all day. Oh, boy. Very exciting. Ooh, good pickup there. Katakon using that burst to avoid the damage. Ooh. Oh, yeah, nice reversal. Great reversal. Gets the wall bounce, follows up with a couple extra hits. 
A little bit of damage. Koopa playing a little more patiently in the neutral game right now. Yeah, he knows, he knows that Faticon, he probably knows that Faticon just wants to charge in and will. So he's hanging back a little bit and hoping to register some of his stuff, like the reversals. Ooh, now that Persona's broken, so we're going to see Faticon especially applying the pressure. Just like that. Gets the reversal. Keeps him off of him. You see it again. Gets the wall bounce that time. Koopa not quite following up on that as, as well as he may be able to. Ooh, and Shie carrying that momentum, trying to take this round. Keep Koopa away from match point. I'm really starting to question how familiar Koopa is with Shie, because that little, little kicky thing she does with the overhead follow-up, those two and those two white circles on the follow-up are, are an overhead. Um, she, I don't think she has a low follow-up with it. All she can do is not do a follow-up and then do a low attack, and it's slightly slower. Here we go, Koopa, Koopa being strong with the rush down. And bringing in the damage there. Gets that quick cross up. Very sneaky there. No follow up though. Okay, here comes the rush down. She a rush down. Looking very strong. Ooh, this delay dash high. Combo and he's in the corner. Converts into good damage and gets that pressure. Koopa gets out. Right there, that persona putting in work. And Fatacom spending that first. Koopa still has his, and up on life, in a strong position perhaps. Oh, oh. Nice overhead. Persona was broken, but she's about back in. And he ran all the way to the other side to avoid all those meteors and incoming mix up from said meteors. Ooh, but here's those meteors again. Chie coming in from the mix up, gets a hurt. Yeah, too bad. Of course, uses burst on that one. Yeah, very smart system to use that burst. Ooh, almost picked up into death from Patacon. Yeah, one more combo's gonna finish off Koopa here. Patacon trying to put up a fight. Oh, reversal. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't get the combo afterwards. This is that. I really needed that combo. At the very least, the reset. Alright, but oh! Ooh, and him with the yeah, stray laser. Using that one more cancel to apply the pressure. And this could. Uh, not quite oh, it. Oh! Oh, wow! Out prioritizes him in the air with that and takes the round Koopa now on match point. I think that might have been the first time Koopa used a laser all game and caught Vatican way off guard. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a uh, much more patient place out from Koopa in these rounds. Yeah, I think he realizes in open games, Vatican uh, can only win if he like, rushes in like that. Exactly. It seems like Definitely he's catching Vatican with a lot of things. He was applying the pressure. Persona broken now, though. She yeah. getting that damage in, applying that Fetica, pressure. Yeah, Fetica needs to take advantage of this. Yes, and Persona is just about back up for Labris. Excellent read by Koopa. I think Fetica was running for a grab, and he just beat it. Good grab there. One more cancels it into damage. Not a huge follow-up, though. Good cross-up and pick-up. That laser into the pillar with the follow-up. Patacon very low on life, just chip damage away. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, nice piece of meter to get in. Oh. Let's see what Koopa decides to do. Just one straight hit will take it. What? What? Oh. Ooh, forced to burst there. Very wise. Yeah, you shouldn't have to block this. Yeah. Ooh, nope. Jumps, jumps, yeah, jumps, jumps away from it, gets around it. Ooh. He knows he's got a decisive advantage, doesn't want to rush in. Not very a whole nice lot play. of chip damage from that. Yeah. There we go. Very nice patient play by Koopa. He knew he had the lead, he knew he didn't have to rush it, even with the super that was holding down to try and place, he decided not to rush it, just hang back, keep the lead, mm -hmm. make Faticon do something. Great play.